Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. Today, this video is going to be the second part of my three-part series of me moving country. Because today I'm moving to England. Holy poop! I'm moving to England. If you saw my previous video of my last week living in Australia, thank you to you. If you haven't already seen that video, go and check it out, it would mean a lot. So let's get into the video. So it's currently like 12pm in the afternoon. It's like midday. I'm just about to go down to the beach and get some lunch. I'm probably gonna get an acai bowl. Today, we are leaving Australia. We're leaving the holiday house that we're in now at 6 p.m. And our flight's at 11 p.m., I believe. So this video is basically going to be me going to the airport, getting to the airport, on the plane, arriving in England. And it's so weird that in a couple of in like 30 hours, I'm going to be living in a different country. That's like, wow. <laughs> wow, I have no words to describe that. Our dog Pebbles, if you watched my previous video, you would know who she is. She has just been picked up by the company Aeropets and they're flying her out to England as well. So we're gonna be meeting her there. She's gonna be getting there before us. And then she'll be delivered to the house that we're staying at in England. So I'm super excited to see her. I already miss her and I really hope that she gets there safely and everything goes well with that. It hasn't even hit me yet that I'm moving country. Like, I still don't feel like I'm moving. I still feel like I'm gonna be able to go down to like the night owl or just walk down to the beach like tomorrow. But I, it's so weird that, oh, I just can't even describe it. Sorry for my voice in this video, I've just been sick. I'm still a little bit sick, but I hope it doesn't sound that bad. Damn it. I just went to go get an acai bowl for lunch, and I forgot to ask for it without honey. Damn it. Now it's not vegan, so I have to go home and wash all the honey off all the fruit. Okay, so we're about, we're all packed up and we're about to leave the house. I'm just going to go and buy some ribbon so that we can identify our suitcases. And I feel like I'm the only one that isn't stressed. Like everyone's like, ah! And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like, I don't really care to be honest. I don't really know what to think of it really. Like, it still hasn't kicked in yet that I'm moving country. Like, it, like we're literally being picked up in half an hour. And I'm kind of just like, mm, yeah. So I just went into the food works to try and find some ribbon. They had none. I thought it would be a good idea to get balloons, but then I thought it'd be a bit weird if there was a bunch of suitcases going through the airport with some balloons. at the airport. So we've arrived at China Airport and I got no sleep on the plane. I'm so tired. We still have another 14 hours on the flight to England and I just want to sleep. I had to sit next to a stranger on the plane and he was quite smelly. I've just come out looking for a bathroom 
I cannot find one. Do Chinese people just not poop it or something? Because there's none anywhere. Oh, okay, I really need to find a bathroom. This feels like the longest day of my life and I cannot find any vegan food in China. What the hell? There's a lot of good shops here, so I mean, at least I'm gonna have a good look around the shops. But now people are staring at me, so I'm gonna go, bye. <sighs> I found a bathroom, but they were all being used. I really need to take it. Poop! The plane had such good movies though. There was Black Panther, which I watched. I didn't get to finish it though, because we got off the flight. They had the new Maze Runner movie that was really good. Yeah, so the, the plane had some really good movies. What is that? What is this? We have arrived in England and it's so nice here. The house looks right out onto the water. It is so nice and everything looks so cool and vintage. The flight was, oh my God, it was the longest 25 hours of my life. It was insane. The first flight lengthwise wasn't too bad. It was only nine hours, but I didn't sleep at all, it was so uncomfortable. And then the second flight was 15 hours and that was just like, <laughs> felt like it went forever. And we, we got lucky though because the plane wasn't full. So we had like room to stretch out because there wasn't people sitting next to us. So we could like stretch our legs and stuff like that. So that we got really lucky with that. They didn't have any vegan food options on the plane. So I legit just ate one, or two bread rolls every five hours and that's what I lived off for the whole 25 hours. So it was not the best luxury food items, but <laughs> your boy has just bought some hula hoops. Anyone who's from England, being to England, you know this is the poop. Like, this is where it's at. But now we are in the house that my uncle and auntie are very kindly letting us stay in and it is so nice, it looks right out onto the water. Yeah, we have arrived in England. It's so, so far, everything that we've done, everywhere we've been has been so nice and definitely better than what I was expecting. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting it to be pretty <laughs> shit, but it's actually really nice, a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. And my dog is arriving soon. Well, she's arriving in a couple of hours. So I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in two days. And other than that, we're just gonna be settling into the house and that's pretty much it. So 
I hope that the footage wasn't too messy and scattered everywhere today. But thank you for watching my video. But I think that this will be it for this video. So I'll make another video of my first week living in England. And that'll be the last part to this three part series. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It would really mean a lot. The response that I got from my first video was so nice. Everyone was being so supportive and telling me how much they enjoyed it, which was so nice. This has been me moving to England. Make sure you follow my Instagram, which is at Louis Sibley. I'll pop it up. Pop it up. <laughs> I'll pop it up on the screen here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.